What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back, or welcome to a new year. 2022, we're gonna be kicking some butt. And with that being said, we're gonna be giving back to y'all a lot. And that's what I'm talking about right here, right now. So over the next, I'd say week or two weeks, every single video that we put out, we're gonna be running giveaways in. Not only are we gonna be running giveaways, but the giveaways are going to get better every single video. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, post notifications on. They're gonna be coming out, you better stay tuned. Please watch all the episodes. I'd appreciate y'all, but let's go ahead and run the first giveaway of the new year. So we got some Bass Pro Shops gift cards right here. We're only gonna be giving away one of these $25 gift cards. If you guys wanna win this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and if you guys could, I'd really appreciate it. I'm trusting you guys on this. Share this video with a friend. Get somebody new in the fishing, or even if it's one of your buddies that just hasn't checked out the channel. Share this video with them. You guys are gonna enjoy it. But yeah, that's uh, what we're giving away in this one. The next video, we're gonna be giving away two of them, and then we might just give 10 rods away. Hint, hint. So stay tuned for all that. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Love y'all. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Today, we're down in Florida. We just started our trip. This is the first video that we filmed in Florida so far. We're gonna be filming a ton over the next week. But we are actually at Osceola Outback. We came out here this past summer and we ended up catching some really big barramundi. We also did some bass fishing out here and also caught some of the peacocks, which you can actually see in the water behind us. Can you see them on the lens, Cody? Maybe. There's a ton of peacocks swimming around right here, which is really cool. The water's so clear. Our main focus today are the barramundi, which right here, this is one of the barramundi ponds right behind us. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be doing some fishing today, having some fun. We just stopped in for a few hours and we're gonna see if we can hook some really big barramundi today. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also share this video with a friend. Um, get somebody new in the fishing. I love seeing more people get in the outdoors. And also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're starting off the new year right. We got some bangers coming this week, so make sure you hit that notification bell. You guys are gonna wanna see everything. By the way, once you guys see the content that we're about to film today, I already know you guys are gonna wanna come out here and do some fishing yourself. So if you wanna book a trip out here, I'm actually gonna leave their Instagram down below. I really appreciate them um, having us come out. You know, we came out last year and just had the time of our life. Like we had so much fun. But if you guys wanna come out here and experience it yourself, I'll drop their Instagram down below, shoot them a message and they'll get you hooked up. I try to keep it the same speed. So just say I'm reeling yeah. along and I get one following it, I'll just, and he might eat it, he might not. Huh, you think he'll eat it right there? I don't know, Well, <laughs> You see this blackness you see? Yeah, through, that's, that's all fish. You think it's yeah. worth dropping it in front of their Pretty nose like that? Right Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, look, he just turned his head on it. He didn't even care. So guys, we got this big old hair jig right here. That's what he said they've been biting. Last time we were, we were fishing with like a little swim bait. Um, he was just, you got one? Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he he, he about two foot from the bank. He <laughs> ate it right there? Yeah, he, he hit it right at the bank. He's green as all get out. Yeah, there's a lot right there. So guys, this is Mike. He's the one that uh, takes care of everybody when they come out here. And he just got the first one of the day. So it's not bad. Small one, yeah, we'll small one. You got to start somewhere, right? No, that's cool. That's a little start. You come by that culvert, try to bump that culvert for that thing. All right. And it's, it's getting the God, dog, bro. He slapped it twice right there. I'm going to have to. <laughs> He's going to get me too excited the way they hit that thing. So this is the bait that we're using. It's a big old hair jig, big profile. Um, you know, last time we came out, we ended up fishing just with a little swim bait on a jig head, nothing crazy. Um, but he said, you know, it just depends what they're wanting. He said recently they've been eating that hair jig. So there's not much action with this thing. So all he said that he's been doing with it is throwing it out there and just steadily reeling it in. Nothing crazy. And he said what's very important 
is worth you got a good one don't you all right yeah that's a better one came off let's fit it but yeah he said just steady retrieve and they'll end up loading up on it but one thing he said that's important is they'll end up following it in so you'll you might have a lot of fish that end up just slamming it right at the bank so you kind of got to pay attention and work that bait really slow come on dude yeah, i know they're in there yeah there he is right there <laughs> look at that look at that he ain't a giant one but he's a nice one gotta start somewhere finally got one to commit dude they just kept kept playing with me there you go all right, so for the people watching, I'll let you do this first one. Is there anything that they need to look out for with these bear mundi? They got gill plates like a snook. Yeah. So basically, you just watch out for the gill plates. They're very right there. Sharp. Yeah. Other than that, just hold them by the mouth. They ain't yeah. nothing crazy. Just when you grab them, grab them good and tight. Sure. They're super strong. I'll yeah. Put them down, or you can grab them. Yeah. There we go. It's the first uh, bear mundi of the day, right here, or the second one. You got the first one. But uh, that's a nice one. We're gonna get a bigger one, aren't we? Hopefully many to come too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get a bigger one. Isn't that a pretty fish though? Oh yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just so different. I don't know whether they're ugly or pretty, but yeah, I Yeah, I don't know. It's different for sure, right? <laughs> All right. First bear Monday today. Here it goes. Dude, he ate it right there on that fall. He's got me all up in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he dove over it. I literally didn't have to reel it. That's sweet. He's a little bigger than that last one, but. He ain't bad. Yeah, he's not bad. That was cool. Yeah, that was a sweet bite. He uh, instantly. Yeah, These fish are strong, man. Wait till you get one of these bigger ones. Yeah. A little stronger than them bass. There we go. Another pretty bear Monday. That was a cool bite because I just like flipped right up there on that pipe and uh, by the time it fell, I mean, he was already chewing on it. Got him to react to it on that bite, on that fall. But it's pretty one. Well. Not a bad one, we still need to upgrade. Oop. There he goes. So we just got out to the, to a different pond now. And he said the biggest one that they got out here is in the pond that we just fished. But this one has like better averages, um, better sized fish. So instead of like those little two pounders we're catching, it might be a five or six, seven, eight pounder. So I just want to see a big one today and I want to hear that drag rip. I really want them to pull me good. That's why I'm using it on a spinning rod. I would be throwing my bait caster, but I want to hear that drag spin. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass combos, we got them on the website, kickingtheirbass.com. I'll leave a link down below. We got right hand bait casters, left hand, and also spinning combos. Um, and if you guys do get your rods, make sure you post them on Instagram, give me a tag, um, and I'll share it for y'all. You ever hop it off the bottom like a jig, or they I, won't? I, I snap jig it sometimes. Like the smaller GOA baits. Yeah. I'll let them go to the bottom and sit there for five seconds, kind of twitch them like a Cinco, and sometimes you'll snap them like a dang tuna jig. And, <laughs> and I work jerk baits the same way, suspended jerk Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Just to get reaction bites out of them. Just here lately, it seems like the, the slow, like in this pond, the slow retrieve has been the more consistent. Dude, that was cool. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I still want his grandmama, but that's that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. What am I saying? I'm giving myself a hard time, aren't I, Cody? Yeah, you are. <laughs> that's, Enjoy this. Yeah, I know, dude. Just seeing this fish jump, here man. You go, buddy. That was sweet. Look at that. It's all the little jumping they do makes it worth it, don't it? Yeah. Look at his eyeball. You see that? He ate that thing good, too. Look at that. Did I pop his eye out? It's just where that hook is. It yeah. Sit, yeah, it was right. Yeah, look. You see it go down? That's funny. That's a good one. How big would you say? I'm going to say he's probably seven. You think he's seven? Yeah. Yeah, he's a hefty fish. That's cool, man. I finally got us a good one. We caught those couple smaller ones and then uh that is such a cool fish man such a cool fish these fish are so strong very healthy out here in these ponds and uh these fish just fight so good 
It's a lot of fun, man. When a fish is ripping like that, jumping out of the water, I mean, you can't beat it, guys. You can't beat it. Make sure you go share this video with a friend, guys. I want to see more people get in the fishing, and I'm going to tell you, this video will probably help that. So uh, let's get some more people in the outdoors this year. That's a good one, man. Thank you, buddy. The one thing I do respect, Cody, is they don't splash me in the face like the bass do. I feel like every time I throw a bass and he <laughs> splashes yeah. me in the face. Yeah, that's a big one. Nice, dude, nice. I want to see if I can double up with you. Oh, yeah, are you still there? He's on the other side of that freaking culvert rubbing my braid all over the damn culvert. He's got me hung in that coat, there he goes. Oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. That's way bigger than one I thought. This is a little spinnerbait rod. <laughs> six six or six ten. That ten pounder? Uh, it's, uh, it's a 610 spinnerbait uh -huh. rod. It's a medium heavy. It's great for throwing jerk baits and little popping frogs and stuff though in the pond. And also let these things fight good. Uh. Oh man. That's a big one, dude. It ain't too bad. It's a good one. A little bigger than the one I caught, right? Maybe? Yeah. That's a good one. He's probably eight, nine pounds. Nice. Oh yeah. Pretty fish. <laughs> Alright, you ready, Cody? I've been ready, bro. Are you born ready? I'm ready to see the crazy, the craziness. You ready? Oh, dude, that's a good one. That's a really good one, dude. You ready to see the craziness? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. Rip it out. Yeah. That one slammed it. Tanked it. Yep, same spot. It was that same cast. You could flip in front of it. You might, and that might be the cast you have to make. You got to get that angle. See, I was throwing it before right at the culvert. They want to eat it. Once you throw across it, how you did. Yeah. yeah. And you'll, you'll tweak that, you know what I mean? Like the retrieve and all. Yeah. You'll, you'll get it figured out. You're getting it now, so. And you might make three or four casts there and get a few bites, and if they quit, you'll throw out in the pond about ten casts and then pitch right back because there'll be a, the more fish will move in and set up. So yeah. You just keep. Oh, that's cool. And you might even pitch one in behind that culvert every once in a while and bump the edge of that culvert when you come by. Barely hooked. Beat that man. That's a good fish. What you think? Seven, eight. Uh, he's probably eight. Yeah, he's a little bigger than that last yeah, one I caught. A little girthier. <laughs> now we're getting into the good ones. I appreciate you, Mike, hey, getting us out here on this one. That first pond was good, and, but... And some days you'll get way bigger out of the first pond. This is a really? better average. You might not catch as many. Yeah. As you do, it's going to be a it's good one. It's going to be a good one, yeah. Hey, I'd much rather get a little less bites and get That's all right. quality fish, you know? You got a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. Numbers, we can get them numbers. Yeah. That's <laughs> sweet. That one fought good, too. That was a good bite. There he goes. Give me some, Cody. That's and cool, man. And you can probably still give them about five pounds bigger. Than All right, y'all. Pond number three. We're going to give it a shot. I'm actually throwing a swim bait. I'll, I'll show you guys when I get it in right here. So it's a little bit different. We're not throwing that hair jig. I just had one twirl on me right there. This is just a little swim bait. It's a very basic little jig head. Chartreuse swim bait on there. Just check our drag. That's good. I'm on that thing loose. They're twirling right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a smaller one. Wait till you get it going. They're going to fire up, aren't they? Hey, you, oh, he's already. Oh, yeah, they're slamming me. One, oh. Right the Dude, look how small that thing. Yeah. But you'll get them up to five pounds in here. This is the baby pond. You ready? Yep. Right here. He's going to eat it. Dude, they're it. He's got to fire him up. Oh, that was actually, that was a good one. Yeah, that wasn't a bad one. Oh, even throw way out in the middle of the pond. They'll probably set out in the middle of the pond, too. I've never fished this one. No, we don't fish it very often. Dude, they're every, it's every cast they're slamming. Look at that. Golly. I just had about five. I'm walking out on here. I had about five turn on me right there, Cody. Oh, they're, dude. Dude, they're everywhere. Oh yeah, I brought Tackle Warehouse here one day and they had their big camera. Yeah. And they were slow, I told them to put it on slow mo and I give them a, a tiny torpedo with no hook. Dude, and look at that. Years, they just had blow up after blow up. Really? The slow mo video. 
Yeah, this is a smaller one, but let me tell you, he's been, he's fighting better, better than anything I hooked today. Was that a little two pounds, yeah, three same. pounds? Yeah. Look at him smacking that, dude. They're hitting a minute. Look at that. Culvert, yeah, they are. I'm gonna flip right in there after this and catch one of them. All right, buddy, calm down. Hey, sit, sit. Let me show you a trick. What's that? Snook, give him slack line. Yeah. And he'll lay there. He's laid on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Snook does the same thing, but everybody wants to get their hands on him. Mike, you're the fish whisperer. No, no, no. Listen, when you hold, when you handle three or four hundred of them a day, you don't want to pick him up with that bait in your mouth. I've seen a lot of people wearing them, so I get the hooks out if I can, and then I pick him up. That's smart. Oh. Uh, and that's that's why I pick them up with a bait in their mouth because they're hard to hold on to. Yeah. Not a bad one. That one fought good, dude. I mean, that was like the smallest one I hooked all day, but. If you can get them going, here, we'll try to get them to eat the top of all right next cast guys these are fired up this this is like i feel like every cast we're gonna get slammed as i say that i don't get hit here we go cody right here buddy this boy is gonna be ripping drag Whew. he tried it's like they just throw it in their mouth and they spit it back out I can't tell how big he is, dude. He's pulling good. There's another small one. <laughs> I'm telling you, these things, you got you get that drag a little loose, man. It don't matter how big they are, they gon' they gonna go crazy. It's a little trick, a little mic trick. Another one. That one's only probably a pound and a half, two pound, and probably a pound and a half. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like this thing fought even better than that last one. I think the smaller you get, the, the more fun they want to have. Yeah. Napoleon complex. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta show off. You having fun, bro? Dude, I'm having a blast. Like, this just feels good. Just getting some fish to fight, man. Getting a good old fight in today. The weather's a little weird, but it's still a pretty day out, man. It's a lot better than being in Georgia right Dude, now. So cold in Georgia this morning. <laughs> Dude, me and Cody got up to drive down here and we're like, I'm glad that we're going down to Florida. <laughs> I looked yeah. at him as we're at the gas station. I'm like, I'm glad we're not getting gas right now and going fishing around here. I think I figured it out, okay? You want you want to know a secret, Cody? All right, watch. So we're just doing the figure eight fast, and then all of a sudden I kind of slow it down. Watch, he's gonna grab it, here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? He ate it on the figure eight that time. Like that, dude. That's that's how you're getting. That's how they're eating it. Things running. That's not a bad one. Yeah, trying to get it out of your line. Yeah, that's the trick, dude. I, I was going fast with it, and I just slow it down, and he'll grab it. Which is surprising, because last time we were here, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, I get that. Not a bad one. It's probably like four pounder. These fish are a year and a half old. Yeah. <laughs> These things are strong, man. Like I got some I got some grippers on me too. These things are just strong. Another pretty one. That was better than those last two I caught here. But that's the thing, so. Last time I came out, you know, we were doing that whole figure eight thing. They're not eating it on the figure eight. I had one bite, but what I'm doing is I'm doing it really fast. 
and then all of a sudden I'll slow it down and kind of drag it. And that's when he eats it every time. We're gonna try it one more time to see if we got something going here. But it's like, you do it fast, they won't eat it. Then you start slowing it down. And if they don't bite it, you do it fast again. And then I'll start slowing it down. That's, I have three bites doing that, so they like it. That's what they want. Dude. It's not even the figure eight. It's like I'm doing it a lot, a lot different than I was doing last time. But they're, they're just eating. It's not a bad one either. Not a big one, but not a bad one. I don't know what we just got going on, but that's what they want. Look at the scratches on his body, man. Yeah. You see that? That that's figure, nice. the figure eight. Yeah. No, that's not what that's. <laughs> oh, oh, from the figure. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I kind of want to get. <laughs> yeah, they eating. They eating a little bit, Cody. Yeah, I'm ready to catch one. Just a little bit. Look at how he ate that. Yeah, that. That's how they're supposed to eat it. Yeah, that one's in his mouth, buddy. Like that fish right there, guys, got some pretty colors on them when that sun sent them. That's awesome. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. I love going out and trying different things. This is the second time that we came out to Osceola Outback and did some barramundi fishing. And man, these fish are a blast. Like I said, if you guys want to get a trip with them, um, I'll leave all their information down in the description box down below. I probably shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever if you guys enjoyed it please hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button share this video with a friend get somebody new in the fishing i appreciate the love and support and i'll catch y'all in the next one